Too many times we fall into a pattern, we fall into a routine, and that's actually quite good with bodybuilding when it comes to nutrition and uh, or just the day-to-day -day consistency side of things. But you need to make sure that when you go into the fitness palace of love... So I'm a Miller the Bald Aho here. Thank you for joining me as always, and thank you for being part of the BLC. I realized on most recent videos, I haven't been throwing this out there, and some people tell me this gets them all pumped up. And remember, when you're part of the BLC, which you were, as soon as you click this video, it means doesn't matter if you're big, doesn't matter if you're little, we're all part of the same fitness club. I'm so sick and tired of everyone being like, oh man, you gotta be big and jacked. No, you can be a fat slob as long as you're going to the gym, the fitness palace of love, and you've got the right brain and you're focusing, you're allowed to come into my group. Now, somebody else that is definitely in this group is none other than Chris Hemsworth. My word, this dude has been so smart. Like when he gets all bulky and big for Thor, etc., he has now basically become the Hollywood poster boy. We're talking about Hollywood poster boys when it comes to jackedness. The Rock's gotta be on there, he's number one. Hugh Jackman would be in there a little bit, but Chris Hemsworth, as far as I'm concerned, is number two because he posted this video on Instagram that we'll watch in just one second, or I have it on the screen behind me because it's way too long just to play. And everyone was like, Simon, should we do this? Is it Chris Hemsworth talking nonsense? Blah, blah, blah. Now remember, when it comes to Chris Hemsworth, is he trying to sell you his app? Yes, it's called Center or something like that. And maybe it's really, really good. And maybe it's really, really crap. There's no way to know. It's why you've got to do reviews. It's why you've got to put your trust in people, make sure it builds up over time, and then make a decision for yourself. However, he clearly knows what he's doing. He's clearly in great shape. But talking about that too, let's compare him here, which is a still from this video we're about to watch, and let's compare him here to where he is Thor. Now, as ever, you're looking at the Thor picture going, oh my gosh, he's massive. And he's not in bad shape in the other picture, but it goes to show, on that given day for Thor, he would have done you know, this, that, and who knows what else, and the lighting would have been right, and he would have been flexing, and he would have done a bunch of push-ups. He was designed to look as big as possible. Now, I've seen the trailer for Thor. I was going to react to it, but life got in the way. But we will do more of that going forward. And he's definitely going to be in terrific, well, he's going to be huge, <laughs> basically. You can just tell. But he ain't walking around like that. So don't stare at Chris Hemsworth and Thor going, oh, my body is crap. I want to look like him because it's not realistic. And he's clearly not realistic because, again, he is not maintaining it. However, the video shall start now. And Hemsworth is basically telling you to do a super duper whooper set. And I suppose some of you want to do this and you're asking for the prones and you're also asking for the gons. So it's on his, uh, his Instagram if you want to check it out. And he goes, this one's a monster. Not right grammar, dude. You put this one's. One's needs a little apostrophe, but don't worry about it because this one is a monster. I know you know. <laughs> I, I turned my video off too. Not for the faint hearted. Go at it at your own pace and give it a crack. That's 10 rounds. And I, I'm going to assume... Uh, I have listened to this, but I'm not listening to it right now, obviously, because it will ruin the audio. The 10 rounds means you do each of this 10 times. So you do 10 bicep curls, you do 10 overhead presses, you do 10 tricep extensions, you do 10 squats, you do 10 lunges, you do 10 bent over rows, and you do 10 standing twists. Then maybe you rest, you do it again, you do it again, you do it again. So you're basically doing 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, and you're doing 10. And I actually think, yes, this is a really good way to work out, and I'm going to tell you why. One it's something different. And if you're an experienced lister, doing stuff out of your comfort zone is going to absolutely get you super duper focused. That's why it's always, it's another good reason. No one ever talks about that, why it's a good reason to change up your program. Because when you do, you go into the gym for a few weeks and you are hyper focused. You're looking at your notes and you're trying to figure out what is what. Too many times we fall into a pattern, we fall into a routine. And that's actually quite good with bodybuilding when it comes to nutrition and, uh, well, just the day to day consistency side of things. But you need to make sure that when you go into the fitness palace of love, you're feeling pumped, you're feeling excited, and you're feeling ready. So that's one good reason to do it. Also, two, it is going to push you. Let's say you're having a particularly difficult week and you're like, oh man, I can only get to the gym three times this week. You're like, well, how am I going to do push ball legs, rest push ball legs? I want to do some circuit training. Maybe you're stuck at home. Maybe your gym's really busy. Maybe it could be one of a thousand things. If you've only got a barbell, why wouldn't you do this? Some of the best advice I ever got, I mean, he didn't give it directly to me, but I was either watching a Triple H interview or I read it, whatever the hell it was, and they were talking about the WWE's tour of India. And Triple H was like, I found a shack with a cable machine in it and some kind of pulley. And he goes, it's all about intensity. Because of course I wanted to lift more weight. Of course I wanted more variation. But I was like, well, if I smash this pulley for a good hour, I'm going to get a good workout. And it's the same kind of thing with this. While it is a little bit gimmicky and you're never going to have it as part of your, your regular routine, throwing it in as a finisher, if you're doing an all workout, a circuit training or something like that, or again, throwing it in because you need something more interesting or just doing it because you've seen Chris Hemsworth doing it and you want to put yourself up for the test. Why the hell not? Let's say you're just going to do this on a random Thursday because again, you see this Instagram video, you see my video, you go, oh man, I'm wondering how I'm going to get on. I was going to do that and I started to try. It's still way too painful with my hands. So I thought, well, it's not worth it. But having these mini challenges that you just do as a one-off is absolutely great. 
you're still going to break down your muscles. I mean, doing it the way that he's doing it, you probably are going to get your heart rate going up. So that's kind of cardiovascular activity. And then maybe you start doing it once a week and you go, okay, well, it took me, you know, five minutes to do 10 rounds. Maybe I could do it in four minutes, three minutes, two minutes, one minute. Impossible to do it in one minute. You'll be, you'll be cheating. But so many times these kind of things get poo-pooed and people go, oh, it's absolutely ridiculous. It's so gimmicky. It's so novel. Gimmicky and novelty is fine as long as it doesn't, you know, go over a long-term period. That's why it's a novelty. You could absolutely do this, not as your workout, but as a supplement to, as an addition to. I would never say that you should be doing this as your, you know, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday program, even though, hang on, let me get the, so you are working your arms because you've got bicep curls in this. You work your biceps. So overhead press, you're working your shoulders, you've got your tricep extensions, so you're working your triceps. Squats, obviously focus on legs, overall body as well. Same with the lunge. Bent over row is hitting your back and a standing twist is going to work your core and your abs. So that is essentially a way to train your entire body. And of course, you're going to be missing certain stabilizer muscle. But I think and one of the reasons I was so uh, interested in it when somebody did send this across to me when it went live a couple of days ago was it was just something a bit different. And it was something outside the box. And you don't have to go and buy Chris Hemsworth Center app to get involved with it. It's literally something you can do in your house right now. And if you're a big fan of Chris Hemsworth and you see his body, you're like, oh man, I love it. And you'll salva, salvalating, that's not the word, salvating. I can't remember the saliva thing <laughs> over it. If that is going to be enough to inspire you to get off on your own ass and do your exercises, then it's brilliant. And again, you don't have to go to the gym. I understand the gym can be an intimidating and a terrifying place. You can start off in your house. And while you never want to put too much extra weight on it you could probably get away with putting a 2.5 or a 5 kilogram on but be careful don't go absolutely crazy but yeah when i get back in the gym will i give it a go of course maybe we'll do some kind of a challenge if we go to the comments as well zocco body pro i probably should know who that is i probably do luke zocchi no i don't i'm gonna guess that's his trainer or something get it big dog tor washington nice work uh bobby D <laughs> bobby dazzler wallop legend of a workout what are people with non-tick saying because that's always much more funny uh, love your voice. See, I told you, that's 100% right. Inspiration for the people. Uh, Chris, forgive me, but my mind goes elsewhere with you. Right, we're done with the comments. <laughs> we're done with the comments for the day. For those that say it's kind of a CrossFit workout, there's nothing wrong with CrossFit. Like, would it be my chosen exercise of choice or exercise routine of choice? No, I prefer a traditional bodybuilding, whatever, you know, whatever kind of word that you want to use. But there is a thousand different ways to get in shape. And I'm going to hammer this home until somehow every single person on the planet gets it. Because you still hear and see too many people going, well, I don't like lifting weights and I don't like doing this. Again, with the right kind of intensity, you could argue that's both a cardio and a muscle building exercise, depending on what you're doing with your nutrition. You're absolutely going to have to add other things to it, but it would be a start or it would be an addition to other things that you are going on. So one day we should probably sit down with the uh, center app properly and see. Actually, while we are on here, let's see what else he's doing. There he is doing some fishing on a boat. Good for him. There's his friend. That's him letting us know that Thor is out. That is him as Thor. That's me screwing up. <laughs> that's the Thor trailer. And that's a body weight booster with Chris Hemsworth. Earn your Easter eggs this Easter and smash out this superset body workout. But again, see, these are all good stuff that you can do. What I do like about them is you can do them all with no equipment, right? There's no hassle. You can just do it. I mean, I don't want to do a burpee. <laughs> I don't want to do a toe crunch. I'm not going to pretend otherwise, but I certainly would. So again, if you're a super experienced lifter, is this going to help you? No, but if you are finding a way just to start getting in shape, you could do far worse things than approaching these routines. As long as you remember that they are just a starting point and you will have to develop as we go on. But I mean, fair play to Chris Hemsworth. It would be nice if we had open conversations about other things, but we're not going to get into that. Oh, look, his, his, his center app was bought as well by Mark Bezos. Well, there we go. Combined company value over 200 million, including debt. So he's doing very well for himself. If there's anyone on the planet that didn't need more money, it's Chris Hemsworth, but good for him. Never kick down, always look up. Now, please do like the video, share the video, and subscribe, hit the bell, ding, ding, so you know other videos are going live. There will be another video on the screen. Please do give it a click. Grillamind.com forward slash Simon. Use code Simon to get 10% off everything there. They are my supplement brand of choice. I think they're good. Also, spam the comments. Forgot to say that. Also, in Greg Doucette's Power 13 cookbook, if you're looking for a way to clean up your diet, that's the whole point of it. It's healthy recipes, but ones that should taste really good. Uh, what else have we got? Instagram and Twitter at Simon316. Send me stuff like this because I truly do find it fascinating on cameo if you want to shout out simon miller.bigcartel.com patreon.com for us simon miller 316 not only is it always appreciated when you support me there but it's where we're currently housing jim fells videos as always be open and honest they will eventually go back onto the channel 
but they've, so many have been flagged. I just had to give it a rest to see if it does balance out. And again, to be honest and transparent, if it does balance out and views start going in the right way because I'm not getting my butt kicked by YouTube, I'll have to keep them off. Do I want to do that? No, it's very, very sad. And you're allowed to be mad about it. Don't worry. I'm mad about it too. Goodbye.